thing that they do for a half, but faces you're driving all the way to the top and shrugging them. Top girls, guess what? They do absolutely nothing different. If they are doing it correctly at the half position, most likely they're going to do it correct here. All they do is keep their weight, shoulders, knees, and toes again. From there, they're going to lift up and squeeze their ankles together. Notice how close she was. What I see a lot of the times when they go up, and a big mistake of coaches, and I used to do it too, don't tell them to pinch a penny. penny. Don't do it. Because guess what? I can squeeze here, and I'm still out here. But if I tell them to squeeze their ankles together, it's going to bring them in. Okay? So squeeze ankles, knees, and then hips. Okay? Not just pinching the pin. Got it? So make sure that your top girl knows that, that they are supposed to squeeze all the way through their body. Okay? Faces, the only difference here, and if they're, again, doing it correctly from the half, as they jump in, as they jump in, they are using their legs. They don't stop right here. They are going to continue shrugging up through those shoulders. That's what helps keep it up in the air. For the bump down, they're going to just use their legs, one, two, and reverse that on the way down. Back squats this time as you grab those ankles, lift as high or lift up as much as you can just to help, and squeeze ankles. Top girls, some people tend to do this. Again, that needs to be their own problem. They should fix that by squeezing. But back squats, the lower you are on those ankles and the more you're lifting up, the more it will help. Okay? Let's see it one more time. Watch these bases shrug. 